For nearly 70 years, experimental planes have been developed and flown here in the Mojave Desert. From the first sonic boom in the X-1 to tomorrow's ultra-efficient, ultra-fast aircraft, NASA is developing the future of air travel one X-plane at a time. Sometimes they do look a bit… odd, but the far-out designs and ideas developed here have led to some of the biggest advances in modern aeronautics. The X-57 is our newest X-plane. It's a flight demonstrator for electric propulsion technologies. So we're using battery power and electric motors to, to fly our new experimental airplane. It's an all-electric powered airplane, or it will be once it's fully built. It has to be one of the most bizarre looking planes you will ever see in the skies with the propellers all the way along the wings. But, of course, it's not actually in the skies yet. So the way the pilots are testing it now and putting it through its paces in extreme scenarios is in this simulator. The first thing you'll notice when you see our airplane is the Distributed Electric Propulsion Technology, or DEP. We actually have 12 small motors spread out along the, the leading edge of our wing. The electric motors will help keep the plane aloft at low speeds by increasing the smaller wing's lift as these fixed tests helped prove. We expect to demonstrate with this aircraft that we can use five times less energy at high-speed cruise flight than we normally do for traditional aircraft. That takes some serious gear, and we got a peek at some of the plane's hacked controls. We had basically had to come up with a, with a system to, for informing the pilot uh, basically the, the same things that he's used to flying in terms of throttle control and thrust. This is actually used in, um, in race cars, a, a digital display that we've adapted to help inform the pilot uh, basically the various um, throttle settings that I'm he's... I'm hoping that in this case green lights mean good. <laughs> <laughs> The X-57, like many of its predecessors, may spell big changes in aeronautics. And as this technology makes it into the private sector, it, it's going to revolutionize the way that the, the public uses aircraft. The X-Plane program doesn't stop here. This experimental design, which will get an X-designation of its own if it's approved, might lead to incredibly fast and quiet trips across the country. This is a low-boom flight demonstrator. The ability to fly from New York to to uh, LA in two and a half hours, we think will become a reality here. Now that's Concorde speed, but Concorde was only allowed to go supersonic over the ocean because its sonic boom was, well, a loud boom. This new design is meant to begin a new era of quieter supersonic transcontinental flight. The intention is to build a vehicle that's about 100 feet long, and this has some very unique features. If you look at the way the angles come into the fuselage and the way the tail is configured and the way the front end is configured. I mean, it's stunning. The nose just goes on forever. It's stunning. The reason why it's designed the way it is is so that the pressure waves coming off of this vehicle will, will be minimal, and by the time they reach the ground, we'll have a really low pressure wave, which creates a low sonic boom. NASA says a demonstrator based on this design might take off as early as 2020, and then just a few years after that, it's possible that passengers could travel at Mach 1.4 across the country. Just imagine only one in-flight movie before touchdown.